little cautionary tale here. What happened one time that probably in the uh, mid to late nineties, something like that. It was actually with these carb sticks right here. I had a, uh, was teaching the guy how to use them and told him, you know, don't, don't rev the bike up too high and whatever you do. If the mercury is going up, don't chop the throttle on it. You got to kind of roll off the throttle because if you do, it puts too much vacuum through the manifold. Anytime you close the throttle, the vacuum goes up, especially if you close it quick and it's at a higher RPM and it'll suck the mercury right through the, right through the engine. So had a, I don't remember what kind of bike it was, some kind of Japanese cruiser, maybe so, something like that. It had, it had a straight pipe out the back here. And I just got done telling the guy, don't rev it up and chop the throttle. Don't do it. So somebody was standing behind the bike with shorts on and really revved the hell out of it and chopped the throttle. And when he did, it sucked mercury through there, spat it through the pipe, hot mercury right into this guy's leg. And, you know, and it happened that quick. By the time I turned around, I saw it. I saw this guy dancing around on one leg, kind of holding his leg, where the mercury shot through hot mercury. And boop, right on his leg. So I'm like, man, you need to go to the emergency room. Of course, he thinks it's nothing. He's like, nah, 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 it's fine. I said, no, you don't understand. You just, you just shot hot mercury into your leg and burned the hell out of it. It's going to go straight to your liver, through your nervous system, to your brain, whatever. You know, eventually talked the guy into it, you know, and that, you know, it's not just that. I had to turn all the fans on in the building because you got hot mercury putting out mercury vapor into, the, into an enclosed building, or for the most part, enclosed building. Uh, you don't need to be breathing that. That, you know, mercury being a heavy metal, it goes, goes right into the ground, absorbs through your skin, mucous membranes, whatever. And uh, I don't know if you guys ever heard the expression, mad as a hatter. Well, the reason they say that is people that used to make hats, for whatever reason, they use mercury in the manufacturing of hats. We're talking 1800s and earlier, or probably later than that. 